love out your people. You already know what time it is today. As you can see, we're going to be doing Doom 2021. And um, as you can see by the title, I have a lot to say. I have a very strong opinion about this film. But yeah, I'm very indifferent about how I feel about it, um, whether I like it or not. So I have a lot to say and I want to get into this review. So let's do it. Doom 2021, directed by Denis Villeneuve. He directed Prisoners, and he also directed uh, Arrivals, um, both films that I'm a fan of. And just like those films, this film is beautiful. It is a very regal, um, picture-perfect frame film. It tells a story pretty much of imperialism, nationalism, of a king who who has to come, who has to rise up, destroy the emperor, and free the oppressed people of this planet. And I'm sure we've seen that story before numerous times, but this time I feel like there's a messaging problem and a casting problem. I don't know if I dislike or like this film, but I do know if you like this video, that helps <laughs> my channel, this video, get to many other people. So please like this video as I continue with my review. This film is Beautiful. It is a beautiful, well-shot film. Great, uh, great gowns, beautiful gowns. What do you expect from Denis? He did Prisoners, he did Arrival, two films that I like and love. And um, he is strong with showing and not telling. He is one of the directors, one of the few directors of this new era that I feel like keeps that alive because I feel like so much of the movies today are so exposition heavy where, um, and they don't trust their audience enough to know um, that we can pick up, we understand the story where you're just showing us. This film literally could just have been a silent film and I still would get the entire overall arc of the story of the imperialism, the nationalism, um, all of those themes, I would get that was just, just being totally silent because actually it could have just been silent because it was so um, hard to hear, like literally hard to hear the dialogue from the characters in this film. Um, and I will only pick up on certain terms and names of some of the characters and, and the colonies or whatever you want to call them. Um, because it was repeated over and over again. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, I get it. But because of that, it prevented me from connecting with characters that I should have been connecting to far as, as far as like the main character paid, um, paid by Timothy uh, Chalamet. I believe I'm saying it right. Um, Paul, his character is Paul. Um, and on top of that, I don't feel like his performance was strong enough, in my opinion. Um, it was very... Uh, stoic, if I should say. Literally, Oscar, Jason Momoa, and Dave Bautista were the characters that I felt more connected to as far as they gave me something. Dave Bautista, I said this before um, in the Zack Snyder film that I can't think of right now. He is someone who physically, someone will look at him and just be like, he's just that, he's just muscle. And they would just consider him just being this very one-dimensional person. He is not that. He's a very, he's an actor that commits. He goes in it and he tries to give it some meat. He tries to give it some, some depth to his performances. Jason Momoa, same thing. He is a person who uh, is a physical, big, tall guy. The thing is with Jason is he knows his lane. He sticks to it. He is Jason Momoa. That's how he acts. But you like him. He's a likable. Oscar, he's a likable great actor um and those were the only people that i felt a little bit connected to the mother timothy i just didn't um it was so much information so much too much information 
And I don't know if it was a stylistic thing as far as kind of like the hard, that the inaudible dialogue sometimes. Because I do know Denis is one of them directors that kind of like try to show more than he tells. And I, that's why I kind of believe that it was a, more of a, a choice. I want to believe that, but I'm not sure. This film was like, okay, I get it's a book. Um, and it's, it is also a remake because it's been, it's another Doom that was back in the 80s. But I don't, I haven't read the book. The general audience, I'm sure a lot of them haven't read the book or seen the original film. And you're going into this film expecting for us to just kind of like, okay, well, this is Doom. It's going to get a sequel. You have to keep, and it's like, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like someone kind of just like, um, expecting my, um, my commitment and my attention to a film that I'm just getting introduced to and just think that I'm just supposed to fall in line and just supposed to just go ahead and just, uh, be sheep and just do what you say. No, I, you have to earn my trust. You have to earn my viewership. And I feel like some, especially a lot of films nowadays, they, they films are too, way too long. I feel like that's an exception. Sometimes you can do that, but not everything has to be over two hours. Um, and this film has too much information that you're just kind of just trying to process everything in such a long but short time. It has a very dainty paste. Uh, where it's just like, it is very particular and that is good for just to see pictures and a, a, a photography exhibit or something like that. And it's like I said, it's a beautiful film, but this is a movie. It has to keep at a certain pace to kind of keep an attention. Um, I can do that, but at the same time, I don't know if the general audience, not saying the general audience can't do that, but I don't know if they would care enough to do it. Now, this is my biggest issue with this film. Um, it has this imperialism, nationalism, overall thing that there's people, this oppressed group of individuals that were casted as pe mostly people of color were casted in these roles, um, given blue eyes, they live in the desert, pretty much treated like vermin. And then you have these very ball headed literally white figures that are attacking trying to get control with their emperor and then you have the other um i can't even, i can't even remember the names because that's that's why so so much information i didn't i can't remember the names but you have oscar and timothy's kingdom or whatever and they are mostly if not all white and then you have Timothy, who's supposed to be this white messiah. I don't know if anyone thought about the messaging. Like I said, I don't know the book. I don't know the original film. Never saw it. Never read it. Um, I'm going, in, going into this film with just two blind eyes and two ears. And going into it with no bias or prejudice um, at all. I'm just going into it blindly. I see that and I saw a white savior and he's the only one who can say he's a press group of colored people. And to me, I don't like that messaging. It is not a messaging that I personally uh, care to see anymore. I've seen it in my entire life growing up watching movies, but we are now at a place where um, we have to be mindful of these messaging, these messages that we're sending out to people um, on a, a subconscious level. So for me to be like, okay, I have to follow this white messiah, and then also I have to follow this character or this actor that I'm has not has is not giving me anything, is pretty black. Do I hate the film? No. Do I dislike it? No. Do I like it? No, I don't know how I feel right now. I'm still processing because I'm literally just got home and start recording. And I just don't know um, what this film and why 
is it being made at this time in our societal um, moment? Um, I will say this. Um, I feel like you should go check it out. It is going to be on HBO Max. I believe it's going to be HBO Max Thursday um, night. And it's also going to be in the theaters. I want people to see it because I want to see what type of discussion this film starts. So guys, that is going to be it for my review. I want you to guys to tell me what you think. Um, I don't know. But if you're new to this channel, please like, comment, subscribe to this channel. It helps. And um, tell your friends, tell your family about Drake. You got something to say. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.